Hey kids, welcome back to Honestville. Uh, this is going to be the last episode of my current ongoing Let's Play series on YouTube of Honestville, and I'll be continuing to build this city on my Twitch stream. So if you're not already following me on Twitch at Rob underscore Spot, then uh, be sure to check that out if you want to see the evolution of this city going forward. I may eventually come back and make more Honestville videos on the YouTube channel, and the stream archives will also be posted on the YouTube channel. But uh, it's a lot of fun to hang out on Twitch while we're working on this city. Um, but I'm, I'm going to work on some other videos for my YouTube channel for a while. Uh, and also just because at this point, a lot of the work that needs to be done on Honestville is just sort of filling in areas. So you can see that I've got, you know, a huge agricultural area starting to form here on the sort of western edge of the city. And I've left a big open space here that's all going to be kind of suburban areas around the edge of the city. Uh, and around the airport here, and I think this sort of agricultural zone will will kind of wrap around the edge of the city like this. Uh, and also is going to extend out uh, Bellina Plains here, uh, which we named on the Twitch stream, is going to need is going to need more farms as well, and I figure we'll put some farms up here. But for this last episode, I wanted to again jump into another part of this tile, because I'm going to keep working on this tile uh, for quite some time, I think. Uh, and I'd like to almost, I mean, it'd be so cool if we could fill out like a huge portion of this tile. There's, there are basically, uh, there's an opportunity for another large city, uh, I think, over here. There's this big open plain here that I think would be good for another large city. And potentially maybe a smaller city over here as well. Uh, so it'd be kind of cool to take these highways. Let's take a look at the transportation map mode here. Um, take these highways and sort of connect them up to to other cities in in the region um this highway here this highway here and this one here uh this highway here could sort of go and maybe join up with a small town or small city maybe on the coast down here but i was thinking that we would uh once again kind of jump way off the map here um first of all let's i think we're going to build a city starting on these this these little points that stick out into <laughs> into the um, into the sea here, and we'll have lots of interesting opportunities for for cool bridges and stuff. Uh, so, but to start doing that, uh, let's take the rail here. Oh, I'm gonna have to name these cities. Mm. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it named as New City, and uh, you guys can put name recommendations, and I will do that on the Twitch. I do have one name recomm rec recommendation we're gonna do today, but. Uh, but we will uh, we will do that after. Where is where's the rail connection? Do I need to go and make it again? Well, I probably need to go make it again. Because I have uh, I'm, we're gonna we're gonna connect the rail and we're gonna connect the highway to this new tile, uh, and that's gonna be really interesting to have this kind of the finally this regional rail network will will sort of make sense and, and actually go somewhere um, aside from just the outlying communities of, of Honestville itself. Not sure. Yeah, we did this one. Uh, we did this one in the last episode. See that port is actually, ooh, that's bad. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with that uh, graphical glitch there. It really bugs me because that uh, it's that's such a great, uh, great port. Um, Okay, let's just make this connection here. Save the game, and we're gonna extend this rail along that whole kind of archipelago area. Uh, you'll notice I don't have a webcam today. I do apologize. Uh, I had some very serious computer issues last week. I ended up having to reschedule a Twitch stream and just spent like two days reformatting my computer and doing all sorts of stuff only to discover only to discover that it was completely unnecessary for me to reformat and everything it was my webcam my like ancient webcam that was like duct taped to the top of a uh, top of my screen um, that uh, basically needed uh, it, it, its driver was so out of date and there was sort of no update to that uh, driver uh, that it was it was it was causing me blue screens of death. Uh, so yeah, uh, real, real drag, real hassle, frankly. Um, gonna make a nice curve there in a second, but I want this rail to come down here and kind of follow the coast. Connect up there. So I think 
Yeah, we can do this. I'm not gonna bother with any kind of fractional angle stuff. Grab. Whoa. So I've had to reinstall everything. Um, I hope the audio is good on this recording. Um, I had to, I basically reinstalled everything from scratch on the computer. Um, I mean, I kept every, I backed up everything, so we haven't lost anything or anything like that, but it did give me an opportunity to kind of clean things up. Um, oh, damn. There we go. Nice round curve. Been a while since we did a big uh, regional road trip like this. Uh, I need. Is there a? I'm not sure there is a a. Oh. I was gonna say, is there a 90 degree curve? But I'm not sure there is one. Um, that's okay. Oh, uh, we'll make this work. Basically, two of those will end up being a 90 degree curve. We're gonna connect up this city, and we're gonna do we're gonna do a bit of building. Might might do a bit of a longish episode today, um, you know, since it is after all the last uh, regular Friday YouTube episode for a while. Whoa! Oops! What the fuck did I just do? Oh, I, I selected road instead of rail. That's hilarious. And the road like connected up to the rail, which is very strange. Okay, <laughs> neat. I can do one up here too. Gotten in the habit of using these curves. Uh, they're 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 nice. To make things look nice. That's fine. Nice smooth curve like that. And one more. The longer one here. I have to bulldoze. Uh, th this needs some. This whole area needs some. Like uh, I need to rework the slope mod. Um, I have not changed my mod setup much since I got going um, on my new computer setup, basically. But um, I'm getting a new webcam, by the way, too. I don't think I mentioned that. I, I have ordered... I have one that is, should be arriving any day now. So on uh, on Twitch, there will be... I will be using my new webcam and on the future videos on this channel. Um, I'm getting a much nicer webcam. Um, I had just sort of purchased a... A second-hand one, uh, and it was just like again, it was just sort of a no-name webcam. So, uh, y as much as I probably could have like rolled back some driver to fix the problem, uh, the easier solution was to just not have that webcam on my system. Yeah, I could almost do like a fractional angle thing. In fact, this sort of makes sense to go even straight across here. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do that. That's that's gonna bug me. That sort of unnecessary curve there. Did I just screw up the curve down here? Nope. Do this, cut straight across. Kind of fastest route approach. No point in having a bunch of extra curves in the rail. Thankfully, rail is cheap. Not that money is an issue in my mod setup, but at the start, it's kind of annoying if you bankrupt a city. I was actually doing some experimentation and uh, built one of those large power plants in a new tile. I was ex I was experimenting with some new mods and actually got a game over screen. I wasn't paying attention and I sort of unpaused things and had forgot to change the funding on uh, one of those giant power plants. And uh, I have not seen that game over screen in ages. The game over screen just takes you back to the regional mode and you lose everything. Uh, but quite quite funny. Uh, try it out if you want. Bankrupt a city if you get in the, um, if you get into uh, more than a hundred thousand debt. Uh, it, it gives you a hilarious game over screen, and, and the, the buttons you click a button that says "Run for Senator." <laughs> so that's pretty funny, pretty funny. So this rail is going to come along here, and we're going to do a bridge in this in this uh, tile. Well, for the time being, also be called New City. Sketch out the rail here. Curves afterwards. Now, this bridge. It's going to be quite a long bridge. Uh, I think I'm going to extend a bit over here just so that we have lots of space to do a nice 
Nice bridge. Probably good. And we are going to use the diggers and razors to do this properly. Uh, that's probably enough. Hopefully. A road up here. Down there. So I can get a nice... Yep, that looks good to me. Right, now we'll drag across here. Super long bridge. Okay, now I just want to mark basically where that bridge is going to be. Level this out a bit here just so that it's a little bit less of a hassle to do. And it's probably not going to be exactly the same height. Uh, there are, I think there's a mod that you can use to, uh, I think there's a mod that you can use to, uh, get the bridge height exactly the right one on each side or whatever, but uh, I have never bothered. You just eyeball it. Okay, uh, hopefully that will be high enough, otherwise I'll, I will adjust it. Grab this, go straight across. Ooh. Is that high enough for fairies? Yep. Okay, now let's pick a bridge. Lots of choices here. I'm thinking more like a rural... Actually, that's kind of cool. That's a very cool, very simple rail bridge. That's the metal pylon rail bridge. What else we got here? This one. Oh, that's, that's ridiculous. Uh, that one's kind of plain for my liking. I like that one. This is this is hilarious. That's a single track rail one. Uh, that's cool. But uh, it does look a little bit bare. It, does, it sort of looks like it would. Uh, that these are for elevated rail. Um, that's another single track rail one. Actually, I think I kind of like that one. Oh, it's single rail again. That one as well. This one looks a little bit war zone. Rail bridge. It's hilarious. Uh, let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. The Howe Trust Rail Bridge. High enough for ferries. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to have a ridiculous slope mod issue here. Can I coax this into... Yeah, okay. That's better. I... Oh, there we go. Per oh. Okay. Now, let me just fix this end of it here. This is how I do things. You can do it however you like, but basically just flatten out the bottom here and then... Ugh, oh, it's doing it again. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to force it to behave in a certain way using a, a street tile, I think, basically. Uh, no. I, I will fix... I mean, a, a number of you have suggested slope mods. Um... A number of you have suggested slope mods, and I will, I will at some point. Oops, I'm on play here. I will at some point uh, install one of the slope mods that you you have been you have so kindly suggested. Um, just haven't gotten around to it. We'll do the curves another time. But I'm going to be doing curves as I did in the other tile. There we go. We're going to make a rail connection and a highway connection, as well as a series of ferries. And hopefully we'll have a little bit of time in this episode to build a small um, small town that will become a big city that will end up filling up this whole area here. Um, so this is kind of cool. The highway is going to go on this this side. Um, and I I may just build it out to here. I'm going to have to do a little bit of... I'm going to have to do a little bit of work here to squeeze it in between the farms. And I'm not sure I want to do that um, on screen this time. Uh, great, I there's an islands tile here that uh, somebody should come up with a name for. <clears throat> so we're going to go up here now with the rail. And have to rename these tiles using the, uh, the cheat console. But uh, I'd rather not come up with names myself because it's so much fun when you guys do. So... Also because, whoa, I don't want that. Don't, don't make a bridge. 
don't do that. There we go. Yeah, this slope mod is horrendous. It really, uh... I mean, I, I apologize to whoever made it uh, for, for, for describing it in those terms, but it, it, it really is horrendous. Uh, it is not, uh... It is not intuitive, and it does silly things. I know it's not easy to make mods for this game, and I don't mean to criticize anyone's hard work, but, uh... Not super thrilled with this uh, slope mod. Um... I'm okay with the slope mod being kind of restrictive for rail, but... Yeah, come on now. Come on now. Oh, jeez. See this mess here? Silliness. Silliness! And honestly, like... It, 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 it sort of makes it tempting for me to just not use any slope, slope mod. Um, you know, the terrain is just kind of not great in this game. Not very flexible. And... Not sure. I'm not sure it helps to to have these slope mods. Um, I mean, it allows you to do certain kinds of things that be sort of nice, but right. Sort of a roundabout rail route here, and I'm imagining that there will be kind of rural villages along along the whole road between Honestville or East Honestville and and whatever this city is going to be called. I do have a name for this this new city that we're going to be building here. Another island, another island city here. So we're going to go bridge there to there. And then we'll do a bridge there. And that'll be the, the rail portion connecting up the region here. Okay, this is going to be a little bit tricky. This is going to be a great tile. Probably a lot of bridges going, up, going across this island here. Uh, why don't we actually start with this bridge? So we'll just... Whoa. There we go. Kind of extend this here. Have done this in the uh, god mode, but uh, might as well just do it in the mayor, mayor tool. That might be high enough for fairies already. Okay, so that ends and that puts us here. Flatten this out here. And we'll do a leveling thing. Increase the level here. Uh, that doesn't look like it's enough. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Streets. Gradual slope. And we'll see what this looks like if I don't even bother. It is high enough for fairies. Uh, looks like it's going to be a bit of a weird other end to the bridge, but uh, now we need to pick another one. I'm not going to agonize over this choice because we do have a number of bridges we need to get done here. That's elevated rail. For these guys. Ah, oh, we'll use that one. Okay. epic bridges. Very long bridges. Ooh, interesting. There's like a little island here. I'm kind of tempted to extend that and to make this into a sort of two-stage bridge. Let's do that. No, sort of. Basically making a see how far we need to go here. That's fine. Raise this. Flatten it again. You see this quite quite often in real world bridges where they um, they kind of they, they, they kind of build a little island in the middle to uh, one tile over. But it goes basically here. We need to raise the terrain this side. Uh, let's just flatten it out. The diggers and razors. Like six bridges in one episode. I may or may not decide to do the highway bridges in this episode. I may just kind of eyeball the highways 
and then again we'll do things on Twitch. Uh, this is a little bit crazy. I'm wondering whether this whole portion here should basically be elevated. I think it makes sense for it to be elevated, and that, that gives us the potential to have to have a, a road. Let's see if we can do this. This is an interesting project. Let's build the bridge first, because it's going to be a lot harder to build the bridge if we don't do it first. I don't like that bridge. Modern rail bridge. Why not? Why not? Might as well have one of these. I've never been a big fan of those bridges, but... Uh, uh, I mean, I just, I tend to like vintage, sort of vintage, uh, you know, sort of industrial area rail bridges. Personally, nothing, nothing, nothing against that bridge, but. What I want to see is, actually, wait a second here. I want to see if I'm able to do like an on-slope type thing. Could be a fun, uh, fun little project for our last uh, Friday Honestville episode. I may come back. I may do like what I'm thinking about doing. Actually, is sort of is sort of like a, a little Honestville update that happens every once in a while. I didn't even see if that bridge uh, was good for ferry heights, but I think it was. Like a sort of Honestville update where I where I show you guys in like a half hour or a 45 minute video, um, kind of what uh, where we're at in the city. Um, okay, this is probably not the same height on both sides, but uh, I don't know that I'm going to be able to. I'm also a little bit apprehensive about using the um, <coughs> the elevated rail on slope. Oh dear! Not not a big fan. Um, okay, so what we need to do here is essentially, I see how we're gonna do this. Hmm. <laughs> um. level. Oh, two level. That's better. Oh, Jesus. Backwards. Ooh. Very careful here. Very careful. Otherwise we'll break the bridge that we just made. That's... We can go to the two level one. That actually works pretty well. I'm, I'm shocked, but it does. Uh, and then we need now the... Okay, that's, those are all the starter pieces. Should be like a draggable elevated rail one here. Draggable elevated rail. Oh, okay, yeah. So we can just now drag this, I think. Oh, no. Oh, what a hassle. Well, fuck that, frankly. That's not working either. Yeah, I've, I've not had a huge amount of success with the draggable, uh, the draggable viaduct rail, so I'm going to use the puzzle pieces. Um, you know, some of, one of you is going to be like, "Well, this is how you do it. You're not doing it right, and that's fine. Go ahead. You know, feel feel free feel free to tell me what I'm doing wrong, as always. Um, but uh, but that's like fuck that. No, that's a real that's a real hassle. I resent having to do this. Um, hmm. Wait a second. I'm level this out so that it's kind of where it needs to be exactly here. Fuck off. Fuck off. You have got to be kidding me. My god. Well, well, well. Not a fan. Not a fan. That, that, that bridge has to be rebuilt. Not a fan of the slope mod. I've gotten quite good at using it. I, I'm almost... I'm almost um, hesitant to get rid of it simply because I've gotten used to the its awful quirks, um, and you know, getting used to the awful quirks of another slope mod is not going to be something that I enjoy a whole lot either. But uh, but I'm sure I've, I what, from what I've heard, from what you guys have told me, there are there are some ones that I should be using that are a little bit more forgiving, perhaps. So I will be looking into that. Right, so I really do need this to work. Uh, we're going to go two level on slope, and then we're going to use the puzzle pieces to go all the way across. Can I connect this, please? Okay. 
fire duct puzzle pieces. This will allow us to potentially put... Uh, wait, what I want to do here now is let's just take this and flatten this out. Ooh, that's not going to be good. Build another... Oh my god, I need to do the other bridge again too. Okay. Man, it should be so fucking simple. Alright. Probably going to run out of money in this town just doing this bullshit. We have another bridge to build too. guys. Oh, oh, fuck, and it's still doing this bloody thing. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Now, I need to leave one, two tiles. At least. We're gonna grab this, clean this up here. We'll see. We'll see how this works. I really do need this to be... Do this. Screw this up again, aren't I? Um, okay, wait a second. I know what I can do. Let's go to... Uh, let's grab the 15 meter razor piece. Bingo. Okay, now I really, I'm going to hope and pray that I can get this rail to... Oh, thank god. Okay. There's just, there's really, I'm finding with the built-in network add-on mod slope mod that there's just no, there's no predicting how it's going to behave. Um, very hard to get a sense of what the, what the intention is and what the rules, what the rules of the mod are, basically. Um, okay, now this one goes this way. And I really, really hope that I'm able to connect this. Yep. Oh, fuck off. Okay, well, that's how it's going to be. That's just how it's going to be. Fuck that. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable Okay. Well. Sorry about that, guys. That's ugly, but that's how it's going to stay. Um, and then that way we can actually slip a puzzle piece in there that will allow us to potentially have a road or something or whatever. Sort of is cool. I've done one of these successfully before, but... Uh, you know, if you guys are watching what I've just done, um, if you're watching what I've just done and you know of a good slope mod to do exactly what I just did, uh, then let me know. Because it's something that I would like to do more often, using the rail viaducts in particular. And Right, so this is going to be a bit of a tricky one. Um, interesting, can we just... Do I need to bother raising it here? What happens if I... Yeah, cancel. Okay, I do need to. One more bridge. Mark this. We'll take the flattening tool here. Nice little. We do need a little bit of a runway here because uh, because the rail has to curve before it actually makes it out to this bridge. A little bit higher. Uh, no. Uh, that might be too steep, we'll see. No, nope. fine with that. I really hope that this works. If it does. Oh, fuck. Didn't connect it all the way, let's do that again. Okay. Oh, it's not high enough. Cancel. That's strange. The other side was high enough for fairies. Oh, uh, it goes down a bit here. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'll try that one more time. I'm not... don't understand why, how it could be high enough on one side, but not high enough on the other side for fairies. Okay, can I go higher? Oh, okay. Just increasing the height ever so slightly. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen on the other side here, but, uh... A little bit crazy to have the three different styles of bridges going across here, but 
We'll do it. Just for kicks. There we go. Alright, that works. Probably a drag pattern I can be using for the curves. But, uh... Often use those because I have to sort of memorize them. There we are. Well, that's our rail connection. A bit like that. The little viaduct in the middle here was a bit of a fiasco, but uh, but uh, you know I might come back and revisit that later. Um, very annoying, frankly. <laughs> and I do like this little this little bit in the middle here. Who knows? Maybe a lighthouse or something will go on there. <laughs> of course, it would be kind of challenging to get there. You'd have to put a ferry, ferry on that little island. We shall see. We shall see. Well, uh, we do need one more rail bridge there. And then uh, we will start to think about where the highway bridge... The highway bridge is probably also going to have to go across this span here. Or perhaps... Perhaps there. Perhaps the highway can go along this little stretch here. I think the rail should actually go down there. The rail here should... Maybe, the, maybe we can turn the rail, actually, and have it go down there. Right. Okay, so I, I curved that rail over there. Uh, we are going to now found our the second major city, I think, in the uh, Honestville region. And I'm going to use a name suggestion for this one. So uh, Tales Enrique Lima uh, suggested that I name a, a neighborhood. I'm going to use it as a city name because I quite like it. Uh, there's a city, I, I guess Tales is from Brazil, and Florianopolis has a nickname, uh, Floripa, which I quite like. has has quite a pleasant sound. And this is, I think, what we're going to name this region here. So let's go with that. Um, I am going to... I'm not going to do all of the highway connections over to Honestville uh, in this video, because I want to actually build this city. But it was kind of fun trekking across the region, and, you know, there'll be lots of space for interesting sort of rural towns. Uh, I'm going to build two bridges in this right from the start. So, okay, we can see that we're going to want to probably extend the landmass here. To kind of make the shortest crossing possible. I was thinking about looking into diagonal bridges as well, but again, that's just a whole can of worms in terms of modding. Um, that's fine. We'll just uh, see if we can get this to see if we can get this to uh, to work in terms of uh, oops, um, in terms of ferry crossings, because it is, it is fairly important for the city to be connected to Honestville via ferries. Gosh, I don't think I don't think the Honestville region has any ferries, actually. Uh, so the bridge height needs to be, like, much higher. Basically. I don't think it might be high enough on that side, though, so let's just... It's on this tile. Raise this up. Be enough. Ooh, oh, that's weird. Okay. okay. That is now high enough for fairies. Uh, I'm not sure. Sure how this is gonna how this is gonna turn out on the other side. I'm not gonna use the wartime bridge. Ooh, that's the elevated rail bridge. That one's kind of silly. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. I'm just gonna do it. Um, I may. I'm not going to spend too much more time screwing around with bridges this episode, so let's just 
It's gonna be, I, I presume there's gonna be a kind of rain station. I'm not sure where this rail is gonna go, but we're just gonna we're just gonna build it out for now and and then we will deal with that later. Probably not a bad area to do some fractional angle type stuff. So that connects it up. I'm wondering where the rail station's gonna be. Maybe, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, the other thing we need, of course, is a highway bridge. So looking at the, we're gonna be using rail highway, of course. Kind of here is where I was imagining it. Um, but we need to actually use the Maxis Highway to make the bridge. So I'm just going to cycle through the bridge choices here so that we can figure out which one makes the most sense. Because we haven't had too, too many bridges in the... Have we had any bridges in the in this, in the Honestville? Okay, that's RHW6S. RHW6S is the Okay, so that's an interesting one. It's basically you cut the bridge into two. That could be kind of cool to have a really high capacity highway crossing because I'm imagining that this will be probably the only bridge that um, would cost a lot of money. Probably be the only bridge that links the two sides here. So that is going to be a four tile network and we're gonna, it's going to require two bridges. That's the 8S. And that's 6S again. This. RHW4. That's Maxis. Let's do the 10 one. It's gonna be an interesting challenge. just raise this and get this one right at least. Raise it again. big epic highway bridge. Uh, yeah, I want it to be a, a very high capacity bridge because because it's going to be one of the main uh, main bridges connecting the whole this whole part of the region. Let's see where this goes. So like uh, and wait a second. Bear with me. high enough. Might be, the height might be kind of off on either side. Now, to do this, it's a little bit weird. But basically, we're going to drag across the highway here. Oh. Get all this. Hopefully I won't bankrupt the city doing this, but it should be okay. Got lots of money. Okay. As tempting as it would be to do a big Golden Gate Bridge, it only has uh, six lanes in total. 
So I guess we were going to go for, hmm, a little bit disappointing the height of the bridge with that bridge design, but uh, eh, I guess it doesn't look that bad. A little bit weird to have those ar arches sort of going into the water like that. I'm going to just go with it. Um, I'm going to just go with it. Uh, okay, so we do this. It's not the end of the world to come back and, and readjust this after, so I just want to look at... Right, that's the right lane there, so the other bridge should be about a tile apart. Probably would have been a good idea to uh, get the levels of the other bridge correct first. Eh, we'll see. We'll I'll see. It's gonna be two bridges like this, basically, that's the idea. So you use the disconnector piece to do all that. And then we're gonna put a starter piece So we go to the 10S ground starter piece. And then we connect all this up. Um, oh, the starter piece needs to go at the at the actual bridge. Right. Uh, no. Missed it. Did I? Going crazy here? Uh, yeah, 10 S starter piece. There we go. Weird. Oh dear. Oh, how the fuck how the fuck do I connect this? I've done this before. I really have. Aha. Thank you. Okay. Worried for a second there that I was going crazy and that I had forgotten how to do this. So there we go. That's the one side of it. Yeah, I'm going to be doing some uh, tutorials and stuff. Uh, lots of things people have been asking for in terms of tutorials, and it's easier for me to do that if I'm, uh, if I'm, you know, if those are the main YouTube videos I'm making. Right. So that's the one side of the bridge. And then the other side is going to go probably a couple tiles away. All right, it might be possible for us to... Oof, I don't like that idea. Let's let's just level this out here. Uh, the bridge is probably going to start maybe even here. Leave a nice big two-tile space between the two. Very, very careful here because we can just break that $50,000 bridge. Very easily. But yeah, we'll make a little, uh, take the digger and razor piece, razor, razor, looks like a similar height, I'm okay with it, I'm gonna have to do that again, looks pretty good. Let's make that sort of ramp again. It's kind of interesting, you can sort of do these as well with um, on-slope pieces uh, and go to the elevated highway, which I might consider doing here. Kind of similar to what we did with the rail, uh, except maybe more functional. Uh, that's fine, we can delete that now. And where does this go? Yeah. Two, two tiles in between. Four. Razor. Okay, raise it again. 
know why I'm having to do this twice. Again, with the weird sloping and leveling bullshit. <coughs> Almost tempting to level it out there. What does it look like on the other side? Let's see if we can... Oof! Not liking that. Okay. Again. Really curious. There we go. That looks better. overall. Now we grab the highway here. Maxis Highway to make the bridge. And in terms of getting the direction of the bridge correct, let's go, whoa. Uh, we're going to take the 10S bridge again here. I don't know, I think we can do it with a starter piece. Or do we need to drag it the other direction? Just see here, cancel. What if I drag it this way? If I get the other direction of the bridge. It's been a while since I. Aha! That's what you do. So you drag the bridge in the other direction to get the traffic moving in the other direction. And we hit accept. And then we use the disconnector piece to disconnect the Maxis tile rail. I didn't even see if that was a, a good bridge for fairies. I really hope so. If not, uh, I will be coming back in here and redoing all this. But uh, I'm not going to worry about it for now. It should be. It should be. And then we find the piece that we want. There it is. Either side. And there we go. We have connected Floripa. We've connected the two sides of Floripa, basically. I am not sure what is going to happen with that highway, where it's going to go, but we did need to have that bridge. Uh, it's a massive highway, so they're definitely going to be a kind of highway, sort of a highway-oriented city to some degree. Uh, I think, though, that we are going to put, let's put a, first of all, we can connect up this rail here. I am going to use a curve. Ah, uh, and then this is actually going to need to curve again. Would almost make sense to uh, would almost make sense to, to use high speed rail, um, which uh, you know maybe maybe eventually the region will get a high speed rail line, but uh, it doesn't seem quite worth it yet because there's no there's no real uh, okay this is not gonna so we're not gonna use the curve piece for this one because it's just it's too uh, too sharp a curve the 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 network atom mod curves can't can't handle it. They can't handle it. That's a perfectly fine curve. There's nothing 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 wrong with that. So let's see if I can fit in one of these guys in here. Yep. Oh dear. Fuck's sake. There we go. Good. Looks good to me. Yeah, that's a bit of a tight curve there, but that's it's fine. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Um, not sure where this rail is going to go, but I I do think we need to uh, 
We need to put a train station. I think this is going to be kind of the downtown area uh, for this city. Sort of a waterfront downtown. Let's, uh, let's pick a nice train station. Um, not the sunken one. I think we're going to go with this guy. For now. I might find some uh, some more uh, more interesting stations. I would like this to be actually a bigger, bigger rail station because this is going to be probably a fairly major city. Uh, and for the time being, we'll just build a little commercial sector. I don't know what kind of demand we have here. Okay, we need a power plant. We have pretty much demand for every type. Uh, I'm going to use up a little office demand here. I'm not going to... Whoa, I'm still... Whoa, I'm still running simulation. Oops. Wave power generation. Where does this come from? Interesting. Well, I'm not going to use that, but, uh, but it is kind of cool. One of my mods. That comes from one of the mods for sure. Gas Depot. Uh, the gas power plant, this guy I kind of like. Uh, it's going to be a bit expensive for a brand new city, but uh, we can put a little gas deep, the gas power plant sort of along the edge of the waterfront here. That doesn't fuck anything up. I like that, quite like that. We've used that before. Uh, just use some freaks for now. I, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to focus on the highway for this town yet, because we don't have enough money to be building any more highway. Uh, let's build a nice grid here. Uh, we do want an avenue going to the to the uh, train station here. The avenue can run along the rail for now. This might end up becoming like viaduct rail. It will actually. I'm not going to go ape shit with the uh, avenue either. I'm going to just focus on this one little downtown area. Probably going to put some farms in this city. Well, maybe not actually. Maybe the maybe the outlying areas will have farms. Sort of no point because I'm pretty sure that this entire tile is going to end up being urban. So much as it would be cool to, to build out some farms starts, I think we'll uh, I think we'll stick with urban area. It is nice to start a new city though. It is very cool to uh, start brand new town in the Honestville region. Take a road. Uh, you know what? We'll do another avenue going to sort of connect up to the rail here. Why does that not want to? Okay, that's fine. I've been really starting to use, when I'm experimenting on my own time, I've been really starting to use uh, uh, four wide blocks. I find that the buildings that build are much, much nicer. I'm also thinking it's possible that like a spur of this highway will sort of zoom over here or something. Like it might be even possible to put a little spur of the highway that it goes into some kind of elevated thing and maybe crosses over here and meets up with the downtown, but that'll be an interesting project for another day. Put a park on the, at the tip there, I think. That'll be that'll be cool. go with this simple grid the downtown area here I'm gonna mark down this park here this guy
could have been interesting to put a beach here as well, but uh, I'm just going to mark it down as sort of parkland for now. And we are going to... I think we might go straight to dense. Uh, I'm going to use the road top bus stops. I've been I've been experimenting with a bit more. I'm I'm uh, had some initial misgivings about these, but uh, but they do work. They do work, and they take up less space. Oh, I don't need that many. Jesus. Okay, we'll delete a couple along the road there. Uh, does this have bus? It does. Okay, so we don't need one there. We only need those two. We'll get rid of this guy. Back this up again. And. Can we afford to be zoning dense like this? Probably. Oh, I don't want it to be. I want it to be two tiles deep. I can't afford to do it if I keep wasting money. Should be fine. Should be fine. I don't know whether the city's going to have any industry. I mean, it will, it will invariably have some industry. Maybe it'll have a port region with industry and stuff like that. All exciting stuff. Uh, basically, there's enough space in this region for me to do live streams for months and months and months just working on various cities in the region. It is nice to have different types of cities within the within the region as well. So I'm going to put this all, uh, it's going to be all streets for now and then we'll expand things to roads as necessary. But uh, I have, uh, I do think it's worth it to, to sort of structure things um, with a higher capacity. Fuck anything up. Oh, it's gonna fuck everything up, isn't it? Can I just fix this? Can I fix it? No, it's not gonna like that. That would be too easy. It would be too easy if it worked the first time. That, no, okay, so that just needs to be deleted. This is this is part of the reason I don't use these. Hmm. It does not like I don't think it likes being beside the rail. On the other hand, it's working over here. Why is it working over here and not over here? Because the network add-on mod is wonderful, but unpredictable. There we go. Do things in different orders. Okay. Hmm. Can we... Yes. Excellent. Might be a little industrial area, even, up, even just around the power plant there. That kind of makes sense. I think we'll do that. Um also might get some zots from from the bus stop tiles. I find that they do tend to cause zots. Figure out some way of maybe putting something on this side of the railroad tracks. Once again though, we'll do that another day. And let's go straight to... Well, I think we'll go to high density residential. Um, partly because we are sort of along this very narrow stretch here, and I imagine that the real estate values might be kind of expensive, you know, to be along the waterfront here. We will put a little bit of industry towards where that power plant is. Might be worth it to come back and flatten out some of this terrain later. But uh, those of you who've been following this series all along know that I am horrendously lazy about flattening out terrain before building. Make of that what you will. Right, so let's put some... I'm not going to put uh, dirty industry along here, but uh, let's just kind of put some potentially manufacturing industry. Okay, we're going to need to move that a little bit away from the rail. Something like this. And probably worth putting
want it to be diagonal. Something like this. Take the road bus stop here. There we are. We'll go with the uh, cargo set for now. See how this builds up. Oh, I want to just do a thing so that we can get some, potentially get some of the larger buildings. Potentially. Four tiles. Some of the skyscrapers are like four tiles. Let's do that. Like that. Right, uh, this has all the ingredients of a city, except, of course, water. Go straight to a water pump. Uh, we can put the water pump... Uh, we'll put it here. Yep, yeah, so the center of uh, what will become, I think, a very large city. Very excited to uh, unpause here. Uh, we should put down some education uh, right away. Because I don't think I want this to be kind of a dirty industry city. That looks good to me. down here. I don't know what's going to go on the other side of the tracks. The bad side of the tracks. Maybe just industry. Maybe it'll just be industry the whole length here. It'll be kind of some kind of crossing. Elevated viaduct crossing and, and something. <laughs> that could be very cool. Um, yeah, so a school. Mm, I guess we'll have to go with this guy. For now. And fire station, just so that we avoid any unpleasant surprises. And I don't think we need much else. Uh, run the simulation. How much power does this produce? Lots. Let's just lower the funding there. We don't go bankrupt. Look at that. It's building up right away. Oh, there's no neighbor connections. That's, that's a bit weird, actually. Oh, we need to build a crash thing. Getting all those notifications. All, all the joys of starting a new city. Uh, where did it go? Here it is. What's going on here? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop down two of these for now. Uh, nah, we'll just go straight to the large one. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the hospitals quite yet. We do need a uh, trash disposal solution. Uh, it's going to be a little bit close to the city for now, but I am going to just drop one of these black hole guys over here. Powered, that's fine. I have now installed uh, Cory, the less abandonment mod, and Cory's um, no kickout mod. What are we doing on budget? Mm, not great. Costing us all that much. Ah, the school. The school is the problem. Need that much. So, uh, so the no kickout mod means that, well, for sure, the no kickout mod um, essentially means that uh, you, the buildings don't really, they don't change when they increase in wealth. So it's, it, you don't need to make a bunch of buildings historical. You, you can delete them if you want them to change and sort of choose. 
So we were already up to 22,000 in this town, getting a little bit of a uh, little bit of unemployment. Uh, we should increase the education here. We're already making tons of cash. So I think we'll go with a full education system with libraries and everything right from the get-go. Put a library there and a high school here. And yeah, I quite like this sort of red brick city we got going. So we've got an Atlantic City vibe here. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, college, perhaps, for now. Be in the industrial area. Technical college of sorts. And I think we should, probably should build a hospital right away. back up here, which it should. Oh, we're actually losing a bit, but that's okay. Now we're making money again. Ooh, I need to build the census repository for sure. Well, actually, I'm going to build the uh, the tower census repository for the city, because it is going to be kind of an office district. So we will put that uh, not right by the train station. That's a bit silly. A little bit of a silly building. Uh, it's not, not my not my favorite building. I wish they would go with something a little bit, a little bit less insane looking. But oops. Come on now. There go. Very cool. That gives us actually a boost in office demand, I believe. Uh, do get we are getting a fair number of uh, no jobs ticks. Don't bother with the courthouse for now. But the city is making money. Why is the okay? There's no there's no road connection, and I have not built a freight rail station. That's what's going on there. So let's start by just plopping down a freight rail station. They there. Um, I know that's not a particularly elegant location for it. Uh, we'll figure something else out. For the time being, that's just going to serve as our neighbor connection for the freight. Uh, which is actually not being used, strangely. We have no police in this city. We're not making any money though, so let's take a look at our budget. Uh, that, everything else looks fine. I'd be able to turn down some of the. Uh, Oh, the, uh, it's the hospital that we need to probably adjust here. It's a 50,000 already. Very dense little, densely packed. We need to lower the ambulance funding here for sure. Really just barely making money here. I'm very curious to see that we're not, they're not using this. Oh, they are. Yeah, they are. Strange. And are people taking the train, I wonder? Probably not. Looks like it's only freight that's going on that rail. Which I, I don't know if it's actually connected right up to the city. There might be a missing neighbor connection along the along the road to Honestville or something. But we have built this very cool looking do some god mode trees here. Very cool looking uh, coastal city of Floripa, which I think will expand outward from the coast as we go along here. Kind of polish up this, this uh, park a bit here. Uh, very excited to start a new town in the Honestville region. I will continue to, of course, polish up Honestville itself. This highway here will somehow be connected up. Maybe they'll, it'll come, maybe there'll be a little a little bridge that sort of meets up with this avenue. Maybe there'll be a little highway ramp thing there, uh, and then and then the highway will also continue out, perhaps potentially into the suburbs. Uh, but uh, I do think this will become the downtown. I may end up rezoning all of this commercial uh, and 
you know, expanding the city out, it's going to be a city of islands. It's going to be a city of islands and ferries and and very different kind of vibe than uh, than Honestville. So I hope you've enjoyed this series. Uh, as I said, please uh, please check it out on Twitch. Uh, I, I stream Mondays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch, Honestville Extra, which is now going to become basically just Honestville. Uh, and that's where I'm going to be working on this, continuing to work on this city and continuing to work on Honestville and the whole region. I will be doing other city building stuff on my channel, including some City 4 tutorials, and hopefully soon a new city, the uh, Indie City Builder New City. I'm going to be doing a series on that soon, just waiting for a processor um, upgrade for my computer. But uh, thanks for watching, Honestville. You guys have been great, and be sure to check out the Twitch, Rob underscore spot. So see you next time. Ciao.